A state of emergency tonight in Kenosha after the district attorney announces a decision in an officer-involved shooting. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Phil Aldrich. And I'm Melissa Langman. Now, the DA will not file charges against the officer who shot Jacob Blake in the back seven times after attempts to tase him failed. This night's Ellie Peters is live with the very latest developments for us. Blake is still paralyzed from the shooting that happened as he opened the door of an SUV with his children inside. Police were called to the scene on reports of a domestic dispute late August. Cell phone video shows Blake walking away from officers and opening the door of an SUV right before he was shot. A knife was found on the driver's side floor of the vehicle and in the video, Blake refused to follow officers' directives. The Kenosha County District Attorney says he doesn't believe he could prove that officers didn't act in self-defense. This case has to be laser focused on what a jury trial would look like. It is really evidence about the perspective of Officer Shesky. What is his knowledge at each moment? And what does a reasonable officer do at each decision point? Just after the district attorney made his announcement, Jacob Blake's family and attorney held a press conference to express their disappointment and frustration. We, the Blake family, are asking this city, this county, this state, and this nation to rise up in a nonviolent civic uprising. Blake's attorney says they are looking at bringing civil action. The National Guard has been mobilized to the area, though activists have called for peace. The governor also released a statement tonight saying the decision today is a failure of justice, equity, and peace for black lives.